Here we go, round one. We're on. Harriet versus Green. Harriet opens with some jabs. Green and seems nice and relaxed. Harriet is a powerhouse, though. Both guys unbeaten. Yeah, James Green started fighting back in 2016. James Green got some a lot of support here as well. His coach Dan Gibbon, he fights out a gorilla fight team. Yeah, some real, real good fight camps from both fighters. Sheffield Shoot Fighters and Gorilla Fight Team. Yeah, definitely. You've got Sam Ball, Sheffield Shoot Fighters. Nice right. I think just missed from Green there. None of them have looked for a takedown yet. They're happy to stand up and trade. Oh, nice jab from Green. Yeah, really good penetrating jab. I think Harriet is waiting a bit. So Green is just slightly going going up, yeah. throwing the shots first. Lovely straight boxing from Green. Oh, beautiful right from Harriet though. Yeah, big cross from Harriet. I think we are seeing a nervous first round fighters feeling each other out. I think they both stay in focus and none of them want to make that. That's it, make they don't that want to record. Both unbeaten. They're both undefeated, as you say, and sometimes you don't want to rush, you want to take your time. Some fighters like to just get through the first round, get a nice warm up and then bring it all out on second and third. Nice leg kick by Harriot. Last 10 seconds. Oh. Honestly, I think this be a very difficult round to score. Definitely. We're on. Here we go. Oliver Harriot versus James Green. Nice job from Green. To be fair, so far he's been a stand-up like a K1. Beautiful right from Harriot. Green took that like a champ. You would think it's a K1 fight, this. <laughs> Great work from both guys, though. They both respect each other. None of them want to rush. Definitely. Both fighters still light on the feet. You're right there when they're both nice and light, in and out on the toes. Nice backhand from Green. Green seems to be putting the pressure, but Harriot is back with his own shots. Because now you, you, you're halfway in second round. You're thinking about, you know, you need to take over if you want to win this fight. You need to start putting the pressure. But at the moment, as it stands, Green is controlling the center of the cage. Yeah, if you notice there, Harriot opened up with a leg kick. Oh, beautiful shot. right hand by Green. 
Oh, the pressure's on. Oh, no. We're taking it to the ground. It's landed on half guard. That ha right hand rocked. Harriet. Can Green capitalise now? Harriet struggling for composure. Great. He's, he's got that single leg. Is he going to finish his takedown? He Fantastic work by Harriet there. Oliver Harriet powering his way through to get that top position. Totally agree there. A lot of power to reverse there. Green is underneath now. Not He's got that right under hook. Green. Can he use it? Can he use that for a submission? And back striking. The right hand hook would be nice if he can get up on his feet. As we're near the end of the second round. Looks like it's gonna finish on the ground. Yeah, first time they've gone to the ground those all last 10 seconds. We're moving to position, but are we gonna see any submissions? It's gonna be so hard to score this round. I'm glad I'm not judging this. Wow, the crowd are going crazy. Third and final round. Here we go. Cage Steel, welterweight title. We open with a jab from Green. These Double guys jab. are performing like pros. Oh, he's got a guillotine there, James Green. I think he's let go. Nice underhooks there. Knee avoiding the takedown. Honestly, I have to say, massive respect to Oliver Harriot. The guys only started fighting in February, and the progression these guys made is unbelievable. James Green is putting a lot of pressure, though. He's landing a great right hand. Yeah, Oliver's, uh, Oliver Harriot's looking for the takedown here. He's wanting to take it to the floor. He knows James Green's dominant on the stand-up. Yeah, James Green is just constru controlling the standing, I think, a bit more at the moment. I'm not sure if the... Yeah, I mean, James will get into positions where he was were, he were taking over. Um, but he didn't keep it up. He got to the clinch, or looking like he going to go for a takedown. Go to the ground. Harriet might be looking a little bit tired. I mean, it's a different fitness in there. He's only three threes. But saying that... Green picking his shots carefully. You, th you know what? He's got a brilliant job, Green, there. Fantastic job. And he's using it quite well. And he's light on his toes still. This is the third round, so basically this is going to decide, I think. Yeah. Depending which way the first round and center. Oh, fantastic takedown. Beautiful. Great takedown by Harriot there. And if he can stay on top. Yeah, this Green's is Harry looking to get point. up. Definitely Harry at strong point on the ground. Almost taking the back there. He needs to turn back in and get that half guard, but he decides to go into his knees. Green. Harriet's got one hooking, try to get the other one there. Can he get it? This is it. Who's gonna get the top position? Oh, he's got the, the hook in. Great control by Harriet. Can he get a submission from that point? He's stuck on his back. It's pretty hard. Ten seconds now. I I feel he probably won this round. But you never know. Yeah, that's it. 